The Evil Grid, a whimsical view of a hypothetical evolution machine. Here we see the Evil Grid simulation cube underlain by processors, lots and lots of processors. And as we come in, we see there's particles in the cube. And the particles are starting to interact. And then suddenly we see a doubling of the processors. And then a doubling again. And we're starting to see some interesting phenomena. So let's dive in and see if we can see something happening. And it looks like with our little observer camera, we're finding something interesting going on. A little bit of self-organization is happening here. Oh, a vesicle has formed and it's got something inside it. Let's go on a few billion generations and uh, we have something a little more interesting going on in the vesicles. Yeah, and a little bit more structure in this one. And a few billion generations later, and oh, we've got a little bit of behavior going on. It's uh, more of an entity. And uh, oh, let's, uh, we've got a really complex entity here. Let's push this along and uh, put it into our scanner. The scanner's gonna take it apart digitally. It's a digitally evolved being, of course, and build its uh, little capsule of XML data. Now we're gonna transmit it to our nifty nanofab. Our Acme Nanofab is taking in CO2, ammonia, and good old water, H2O, and is going to fabricate our digitally evolved entity into a creature of chemistry, making sheaths and strings and reacting parts and channels. It looks like our creature is finished, it's being printed, and out the end of the glass tube will come our fabbed entity. Ready for a swan dive into a beaker. And in the beaker is the formulated chemical soup designed to be like the original Sim Cube. And let's see if our creature is recognizing the, the chemicals and it's uh, running the algorithms and it's swimming off. So it seems to be off to a good start in a new life in the world of the molecule.